Okay, so let me ask you a question. So obviously back then for survival, women needed a man, otherwise when they were pregnant, they could die and all of these things, they would perish. In today's society, given evolution, given the fact that as women we can go Still and get... Need men. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not saying that. Isn't there a glitch between what is actually happening and the nature of what we have in our bodies? I think that's probably the conflict that we're having right now. Glitch in what way? In the sense that women don't feel like they need men in the most physical sense, we, perhaps yeah, like right. naturally. It's, it's very yeah, interesting. Women don't feel like they need like men that. in a physical sense because life is soft, but it's, mm. but it's, but it's bullshit. And it's mm. bullshit because you still need men by proxy, one. Mm. And two, the second life gets difficult, you very quickly you very quickly learn how much you need men. But women will go, I'm independent, I don't need no man because I have an OnlyFans and men bear my OnlyFans. And if anyone comes up to me, I'll call a male police officer. I don't need men. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Of course you do. Mm. You just named your whole life is based on fucking men. The road you're driving on was paved by a man. The house you're living in was built by a man. The car you're driving was, was designed by a man. Your whole life depends on men. And the second anything bad were to happen to you, the second you were physically threatened, or times were to get hard, or war were to start, or famine, or riots, the first thing you do is find a big, strong man, shit yourself, and throw the feminism out the window. Mm -hmm. Feminism goes mm -hmm. out the fucking window the second that the snow needs shoveling, or there's a fucking broken down car, or the tire needs changing. Then all that crap vanishes. It's garbage. And this is the actual, the very interesting thing. I'll make a point here, which is going to get me canceled again, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but, but, but this is the point. Feminism in and of itself can't be defended. Any idea, the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it. This has been the whole point of war since the dawn of time. It doesn't matter if it was the Christians against the Hindus. It doesn't matter if it was the Germans against the French. There were people who had ideas and ideologies, and they were prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology. Feminism is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists. The only people who can defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage. If, you, if all the feminists were to get in a, in, a, in a line and say, we want feminism, and the conservative men were to get in a line, you would learn very quickly it's bullshit. I had a friend yeah. in Afghanistan when Taliban kicked America yeah. out, and he told me, the Americans were, tell, were telling the girls they could go to school. So they built all these girls' schools, and they put the Afghanistani defense forces there, and they get funded the Afghanistani defense forces to, to, to protect these schools. You had American satellites. You had night vision goggles. Taliban were afraid to attack. America leaves. Now you have Afghani defense forces. They're basically blind. They don't have satellites anymore. They don't have, don't have uh, night vision, whatever. So now it's a real war. The men are standing next to this girls' school. The Taliban are coming. You're some dude. You're standing there, and you're looking at this girls' school going, I don't really give a fuck if girls go to school. Bounce. And you just and you didn't fight. So that's why they all gave up and Taliban took over so quickly. And when I said this, the girls like, yeah, they should have fought for us, feminism. The, why don't the women fight? Can you ask? Oh, wait, the women can't defend their own fucking idea. You need men to defend feminism. So that's why the whole thing is stupid. <laughs> so the second men don't defend it, it does it just fails as a fucking ideology. It's garbage. May I tell you something now? So this is the thing. This is when we assume that women <laughs> It's a very solid point. If you wanted to show that feminism could be defended, you would usually have a man... ...don't have the physical or even mental ability to go to assume, a war. Assume. Wait, 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 because this is the thing. For example, in Ukraine, a lot of women took up arms. And in fact, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait, I'm Angolan. And don't lie Listen, to the people at home. Wait, no worries. I'll talk <laughs> about my personal story. You want to go to war? You want to no, fight No, wait, let lines? me tell you. Let me tell you something. This is wait. the thing. I think it's also really, like, <laughs> silly to assume that, for example, a woman, because she didn't go to school, she'll not be as intelligent as a man. Therefore, naturally, a woman is not intelligent. No, it doesn't make sense. If we're not Same. starting to normalize equality and we want to put everybody in the forefront, give a woman a Who's gun. Who's normalizing equality? Well, that's what, what people are wanting. Then that, that's people the case. Like who? Let me tell you, I want to normalize let equality. Me, People like, oh, feminists. Who no, else wants to? I want, well, actually, no equality. I want respect. That's really no, all I want. No, stopping you from getting respect. Exactly. No, no, I get respect. I, I, get respect. Getting respect. I get respect. So, that's what I get respect. I get respect. That's what I want. That's what I like. What I think is... You don't even know what you want. I'll tell you what I you want. You don't know what you want. You want I, equality. As a woman, I carry myself respect. differently. Yeah. I actually hold the things that I have done in the fight side for. I hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the girls. That's why when you talk to me and you argue with me, I don't take it. You do sometimes. And I'll tell you something. A lot of women... I don't even know what she's saying. She's not, she not trying to argue. She's telling you the fact. She's not arguing. You have the accolades to be somebody, but they are uncomfortable to own that. And the reason why, then I would like to ask you, for example, um, I do need a, woman, a man, for example, to, you know, procreate. But she didn't finish up with the arms thing. She didn't finish up with men, with the women pulling up arms. Even if they are putting up arms to defend this idea, a majority of women will not be doing that. That is the argument. Yes, there are there are some women. There are there are like there are 10, 20, you know, few thousand women out of how many who will not go to war. Let's say there's maybe like 200 million feminists and they want to defend this ideal. I can assure you at least 20, maybe 40,000 will really pull up an assault rifle and be like, let's go. 
1000%. But in comparison to conservative men, we not being the conservative side of men. It's just like all those men will stand up. All of them will. These women are not gonna fight for this. But other than that, they would need men. Strong. And I would find things, that, I would find a way to protect myself differently. It, with that mentality, Denava. what would be Denava. the man that would be for me then? Denava, Denava, what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your door? <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. What would you do? What would one, you do? if you don't have a gun, it's not a fair fight, but like, if he just came in, jump out the window. I don't know, calling for Jesus, like... There's she's no guns she's, here. She's I'll, I'll she's tell you. No, I'm not a she feminist. She was straight and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a feminist. I'm, I'm a bit smarter. Okay, Either okay. I play These dead, one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they see you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> they, they no, I'd be breathing. like this. And then if not, maybe I right. would kind of like be very gentle and comply to find a way to get out okay, of it. So if they want to come and an, kill me, let's make there's not much point. that many people but can let's do. let's make an important point. You're talking about equality equaling respect. The way you get respect as a woman is by being feminine. There's nothing... Uh, we can be equal and very, very different. I'm not saying that where there's not equality, but you've confused equality with the same. You can be equal equity. with completely different things. You can have a bishop and a knight on a chessboard. They're equal in terms of points, but they do different things, right? Mm. A woman can have equal respect to a man if she is very good at being a woman, and a man gets respect for being very good at being a man. When a woman decides she wants to act like a man or a man wants to act like a woman, that's where it all gets fucked up. We try to pretend yes. it's all the same. It's <laughs> not the same. Men and women are good at different things. We have different strengths, different weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with accepting that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm a woman, I'm good at X, he's a man, he's good at Y. Then we work together as a team, we have a beautiful family, we're happy forever. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, no, because in the name of equality, we can fight and war. There's no fucking women on the front line in Ukraine. That is psyop bullshit. They put some chick there dancing around doing Pokemon <laughs> dances to try and convince men to go yeah, fucking die in a ditch. It's garbage. If you go to the front line of Ukraine right now, you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures. You see fucking men in the freezing cold dying. You know where the women are? Dubai. Chilling. That's where the women are. So mm. to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a fucking lie. It's delusion. To send that you're as strong as men is a delusion. You are good no at way. other things. You're no. better than men at a lot of things, but it's not the physical world. And the unfortunate reality about life, this is what we're saying when I was saying earlier that feminism goes out the window when things get hard. The harder the world gets, it, the, it, the closer it gets to the baseline of humanity, the unfortunate baseline of, re of, re of humanity is violence. Yeah. That's what happens. when, if, if all the electricity were to go out and all the police were to quit, this would become a violent place very quickly and there would be fucking zero feminists left. Zero. You would all need men. That's the bottom line of reality. That's the bottom line. So you have to yes. understand as a woman and say, okay, no I need a man saying, who's good at being a man. But no but, one's saying but, that we don't need men in society. Of course we do. We're talking about relationships. Yeah, you're strong. But the thing is, I can live my life as a woman and not need a man. My day-to-day -day life, <laughs> I don't need a man to fix my car. I'll just go to the mechanic. But listen, right? I don't, yeah. But is the mechanic a man no, or a woman? No, no, no. I'm saying, yes, we need men in society. But in relationships, the only reason I actually need you is because I want you. I don't actually need you. Do you know what? I, have I, want, I, need, I need you to procreate. Yes, I agree. But the thing is, I don't need you in my day-to-day -day life. Yeah, what if yeah, someone, but wait, what, wait, what if someone breaks into your house? I'll just call the police. Okay, what if they don't come? What if it, the average is in, the US, in the US it takes like fifteen. <laughs> and give them everything. In, in the fifth in, in the US it takes like fifteen that minutes is, for them to get there. But that's not realistic. What, that okay, doesn't okay, happen no, on okay, a okay, day okay, to okay. day life. These wow, two guys does, in your though. in your house. What are you doing? But that's not realistic. I've not had any. Why is it unrealistic? What are you talking about? Like, I don't even know the guy she's pointing to. I'm just gonna assume it's like having two shacks come inside the door. That is a realistic situation. And even if it's not two shacks, any grown man to a woman is like having a shack to a freaking chihuahua. It's, it's a very big strength difference. That is a realistic situation. Two grown men come inside your house. What are you doing? Like... You need a good husband or a boyfriend or something like that to be some sort of some sort of defense protection while you jump out the window and run to get some kind of help. That is what she is trying to say. It's not an uncommon situation. Break into my house on a day to day. No, point, it doesn't what, happen. Point, the point is. So let's be realistic I know, I know now. I, I know what you're saying, but the the point is this. The point is. When we're talking about feminism as a whole, feminism as a whole demonizes men. And you just said, mm. you just sat and said, besides procreation, I don't need a man in my life. I can go to a male mechanic or call a male police officer. They're men. So it's it, in it's society. It, so you are needed. Society, yeah. I agree. I agree. Okay, of so, course, we need you. Of course. So you're talking about being with a man 
it, because you want to. So yeah. my, my question to you is, why would you want to be with a man? Why would a man want to be with you? Because they're sexy. Like, obviously, because of the guy. No, 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 no. Sorry, I love men. No. I love dick. Don't okay. say like it, but it's not all about dick. What I'm trying to say is, no, like, uh, well, in a good relationship, right, one that works, there's blue jobs and there's pink jobs. Right, and that's the problem that women have got. Oh, gee, they don't want to be doing no pink jobs. But that's not what, what we're talking about. We're talking, we're talking about. we're talking about relationships. Why do you need a man in a relationship? Because you want a partner. What about companionship, partner? friendship, you romantic love, love romantic, things that you can't get yeah. by yourself? Take, like, you want to go on dates with him? It's not about... I no, 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 no. It's an exchange. Like, it's an exchange of help for one or the other. More often than not, once again, can't stress enough, most people are not agitated. They're not gonna be billionaires and millionaires. Regular, regular people. As your husband, he will, more often than not, be providing you protection with his actual body, financial provision with his money, because a lot of women believe it's the man's money is the money for the household, and the woman's money is just her money. So his money is your money as well, and he pays for a majority of the bills. And then also, just with like other chores of just like maybe filling the gas, mowing the lawn, cleaning the gutters, cleaning out the garage, also helping to drop kids off at school, which, you know, because they kind of leak into like the motherly, some other motherly jobs. That's what he's doing as your partner. As a woman, what you also give as uh, an exchange for him giving you those things is usually cooking, usually cleaning, maybe washing the dishes, which in, in comparison isn't really the same thing. I have cooked all day before, many a time, and it does not compete, it does not compare to working at the freaking oil rig. It does not compare working 80 hour weeks to make sure that the kids' school fees were paid and that we had enough money for gas and we paid off the heat bill. The financial stress alone is usually greater than the, the house chores of a woman. It, it's usually not on the same level. They're both taxing, but it's like, it's an exchange. It's not just for dates and for champagne. I, I don't even know what this girl's about to say. I fix my car. Like Go to a mechanic. <laughs> You're not safe. Call the police. Not like cool. it's not that easy. Oh, 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 oh. This woman is very delusional. Like she's not speaking with sense. She's listening to respond, and she's having a difficulty understanding what's being said. She is not getting this at all. What about a father to your kids? You don't think your exactly. kids exactly? You can be around. I, I, I definitely want that. These are the stuff. This is the reason but, you know, why you, you need, need that. that. That's and, and I, I agree. agree. Wait, 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 wait. It's not. It's not that you want it. You need it. I agree. And mm. these are the stuff that I need in a man. But it's like at the end of the day, it's not like I completely need you. But I want the whole, you but do, the whole point is if the light you one hundred percent need a father figure for your children. That is a fact. Anyone who's watching this, you need a father figure. It is in your children's best sake to make sure you have a great father figure. Like. Men are very important to raising a very well-balanced child. She wants to completely take the, ro the role of a man away, but it's like overall experience of having a father is very beneficial to a child. It's a necessity. Tomorrow, you would need a man. In There's society, no, agree. Why right? do we have like women that are so no, 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 useless? I'm saying, I'm not that I can change a no, tire. No, I'm saying, I'm saying if, if the lights went out tomorrow, you would need someone to protect you. You yes, would. of course. Can society, not my boyfriend. I'll go on the ground. Like, half of my exes can't Why even would do society protect you? They don't know you. They don't know you. Girl, what are you talking about? They don't know you. Why would they protect you? Your man is the one who's going to protect you, or you and your glizzy is going to be the one to protect you. Hey, can I, yo, <laughs> That's choice. actually another choice. problem. A lot of men can't do much. Do you know what I mean? Not everybody's strong. In this day and strong. age, in this day and age, what? guys can't Listen, even fit a tire. You cannot. <laughs> you... And you probably can't cook a meal. Both, it seems like both sides is really not too good. Even if they can't fix the tire, you don't think he could throw a punch? A man's strength has not gone away though. A man's strength is not withered. I'm talking about the defense alone that a man provides for a woman. It's incomparable to you just fighting on your own as a woman. You now have that man, it's like having 10 extra strength and he's willing to go 100% for you because you're his girl. That's why she's saying you need it when God forbid all lights go out and you're by yourself. No, 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 you can't say, I'm talking to both of you because you're saying, yeah, my man can't do this, my man can't do that. What? And you want to settle down. Why would you go and choose a man? Mm. 
that can't do these things that you wanted them to do. Because Same. my man could do all the blue jobs. I need a man Because most, most men go up with a PlayStation instead. Most men go up with a PlayStation. It's a man that you... If it's a priority for you to have these men do these certain things, like fixing a tire, what is it, doing plumbing and stuff like that, then you go get a man who can do these things. That's just it. You settling with the guy who can't do these things, and now you cursing him out on the show on the freaking internet, talking about he can't do this. So if he can't do that, then he can't protect me. First of all, any man that's probably with them is probably gonna break up with them as soon as they see this. Because how you gonna diss me on the internet talking about I can't, I can't, I can't protect you. I can't change the tie. Like who? What man wants a girl like that? Clearly you don't respect me. Clearly you don't think I can do anything. Yes, yes, yes. Not, it's not. No, no that's yes, the truth. Yes. Not. It's speak not. For, speak for yourself. Speak for that's yourself. The, that's you Listen, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't a need a mechanic to my boyfriend. You know what? I need a father to my children. I don't need... Do you know something, right? She needs a, a police father. officer. Minute, she needs a father for her children, right? Yeah. So she's going to go out there, right? And you're going to buy your child an electric car. You're going to go and buy your child a bicycle. Who the hell is going to put out the bicycle and fix the electric car? Who's going to do it? you got YouTube. I know how to do these things. This girl is chatting so much and she can't do sh and it's like come back to me in 10 years tell me how life is going for you cuz you not hearing you not learning not a damn both this one and the brown leather not mm. Not well, I think the and you can do everything yourself go and get go some and do sperm it. Down. Honestly go and do it yourself then go and do it yourself then if you really don't need them you know go get, go to a sperm bank Get the get the baby, have it your own, be a single mom, you know, fix the electric cars, fix the electric bikes, put the bassinet together, you know, fix the car, remodel the kitchen, do all of these things yourself. Come back to me in five to ten years and tell me it was easier than being with a man. It was easy or I enjoyed this. I love being a single mom. Come back to me in ten years. I mean, because you obviously don't need a man. That's the like, future, I, I think, And the thing you know? is, no, no future for who? How can I ask Mr. to take something, right? right I'm going to ask you something. Sure. <laughs> right. Because I, I, I can't, I don't like bullshit, right? And I, there's not certain people that I can't Why even bear to talk to, right? So I'm going to talk to him because so far he's talking sense. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's given pick me. Right. Uh -uh. No. This one, like, come back for her. Like, l let's have her come back in like five to ten years. Her youth is gone. She's older. She's made a decision. Let's see how her views and opinions change when life really, when life happens. Because you calling someone to pick me for speaking truth. You speaking dumb. You acting stupid. Mr. Tate, like I was saying before we got rudely interrupted, right? Now, if you... Is this your idea of a woman that you think deserves a man? I'm here. Single. But I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm here. I'm, I'm like taking, you know, if you want to hook me up, let me know. And I'll, I just want any and anybody, but choose. How does that make you feel? Uh, what is that kind of woman that you think deserves a man? So... To, to go back to one of my earlier points, firstly, to make it clear in the disagreement, I agree with, of course, I think everyone knows who I agree with. But um, I do, because you know what it is, though? You know what's actually funny? The things that she's saying are common knowledge 20, 30 years ago. It's just common knowledge, Tate. Yo, it's just common knowledge. Functioned. This is how the whole world functions. Like, the things I say that somehow people believe are controversial it's are exactly standard. the way the world functioned in like the 90s, the 80s, the 70s. All Honestly, in other countries. It's just something that America is just like, shh. Like, we don't want to talk about the truth? It's insane. The entire period of human history, men had a role of masculinity. Women had a role of femininity. We worked as a team. Works. Now the world's come along and they've destroyed and broken everything. And there's this new progressive think and this new generation of women who seem to believe that if we completely fuck it all up, it's going to end up better. And my argument to that is, listen, we went from walking around in fields and small nomadic groups to building cities, to building the pyramids, to going to the moon. We managed to go from a few thousand to billions of people, populate the entire planet, build canals, build skyscrapers, cities. All of this was done based on the back of man being a man, woman being a woman, working together as a family. And now I was destroyed. Now, now they're going to come along. And fuck it up. If it's not broke, don't it's think destroyed. It's been destroyed. Man has destroyed Earth. What are you talking about? It's no. been bad decisions from powerful men man that got men man. to go. Yo, wait. You can't work with a girl like this. She looks the classiest of them all. She looks so intelligent. But then when she talks, it's like this is wrong. Wars men and for women to lose husbands. Men. men Built. Men earth. make decisions for war. Listen, please. Men kill men. Please listen to me. Men built the earth. I'm not saying men are perfect, but the entire world that you're existing under 
was built by men. Yeah, it's All true. of it. So, so, and the point I'm making is now we're entering a world of new think. And that the problem with new think is it's not tested. I don't give a shit what anyone's mm. opinion is. What I can state as a matter of fact is that we is... had 5,000 years of history that tells us how the world works with like, X and Y together. And we've thrown it we're away. We're now entering a new paradigm. There's no 5,000 years of history. So yeah. whatever you believe about how it's going to work or it's going to be better or worse, whatever, that's just you guessing. Everyone is guessing, yeah. right? So we're entering a brand new paradigm and everything's completely <laughs> fucked up. The point you were making earlier, which is a, is a fantastic one about if I pick a woman who's advertising, et cetera, et cetera, men always, please keep this in mind, If you're, especially if you're a female. People always say, you know, the number of emails I get from girls that say you don't give enough girl game. I'll give you girl game right now. <laughs> Your man wants status. That's what he wants. You need to find a way to make him look good to the world and to his friends. If, so how do you do that? I'll tell you. One of the ways a man can get status is to get the girl that no one can get. That's a very imp simple way, right? So I said not ready to mingle. I did right. Okay, no, no, but this is the truth, right? If you, if I date a girl, and she's perfect in every way, head to toe, mm -hmm. and then I say, oh, I met this girl. Yeah, she's this. She's this. Oh yeah, I took her for a date. Even if he didn't fuck her, like, did you fuck her? No, no, I just went for a date. So you went. It, 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 the attraction mm. goes from this to zero, done. And it may not for some men, because some men haven't got choices. But men like me, who genuinely have unlimited options, we want complete exclusivity. That's what we're looking for, because that gives status. That's mm. what you're looking for. So you have to be very careful as a female with all of your actions, all of your interactions with your boyfriend, or when you're looking for a boyfriend, etc., and say. Am I going to make my man look better by doing X or look worse? 